So welcome back to my garden here in southwest of Ireland in County Kerry and I've loads of sweet peas still behind me. It's been the most amazing end of August and start of September because it is very early September now and it's been really dry. We just don't get that kind of weather that often. It feels warm. It feels really pleasant. There's no humidity. It's not damp. And then there's jobs to do in the garden. And you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You basically list a month of work and you think you're going to get it all done in one day. So I'm four hours later now here and the energy is failing but I'll show you how much I got out of the jobs that I listed for myself how many I actually got done. I got that sorted so luckily that's refreshed now and any new growth um, all the bees that are even on it now as I talk they'll be very happy with it and uh, they'll keep coming until the first frosts in or well, end of October or November and then I leave the stalks all on the plants over winter and in early spring I just clean it up again like I did at the beginning of this year but yeah they're just loving it um, done now I'll just show you there that's the heap of the peas sugar snap so I'll um, I'll get the seeds out of there and I'll save it again for next season you say? What do you say? Do you like some peas? No, you love apples, don't you? You do. Right, and next I was doing all the weeding and as I was going along with the weeding I was harvesting uh, bits for dinner as well. So I've got beetroot here. Um, then I did harvest all the shallots. Um, very gently uh, sort of loosen them out of the soil and I'm going to, to let them dry now. And they were grown from sets. Um, except the red um, onion now this was from seed but these are all from sets and the gas thing is or funny thing is that they all started off like that I still have some um, sets left from last year that I didn't use this year so yeah there's a lovely harvest great return from just a couple of those little ones and the only reason they stayed little is they are very close to the footpath and they probably just didn't get enough moisture, they were too exposed. Is anything in the middle there? Let me see, they're all really decent sized shallots. So just to dry them out and um, store them then. Now then I got some turnips harvested, um, some kohlrabi, a couple of courgettes. Are you all coming now? Yeah? Hi girls. But with all the weeding, I actually discovered I had more pumpkins than I thought I had. I actually revealed that there was another pumpkin coming in here, still small, and there was another one up there. Then I also discovered, and I didn't think they'd make it, but I think this is baby bear pumpkin. So it's a small pumpkin. Um, there's some winter squash here. And I genuinely just want to get small uh, pumpkins. But then I also discovered there's been great growth. I got the two blueberries planted now as well. They're two high bush varieties, but this whole planter is filled with ericaceous compost, so they should be absolutely delighted and happy there. No problem at all. So mainly got 
quite a lot done. But then I did not manage to get the new seedlings, pla uh, seedlings planted. And the idea I have is that I'm going to clear out those three beds. And I'm going to be just using those three beds, or well, those six beds for the winter season. Uh, maybe the metal one too, but again, it's quite exposed to wind because at least I'm able to protect these planters with having even um, windbreak material around them because I have these uprights that uh, we never cut down since those beds were um, made. So those uprights go all the way down to the ground and um, it's uh, very handy to put any kind of netting or or um, like a windbreak, uh, anything like that to, uh, around it. But um, what's in here, and which I'm just going to pull out because they never happened, are cabbages. In here I have broccoli, and as you see, that's as much for broccoli I'm getting, which is great. <laughs> no, it's, um, they're fairly uh, failed. And this is a self-seeded wild rocket, love that. But I have more of it in the other brassica bed, so that can all come out as well. Um, it loads to harvest and beautiful uh, flavor. But um, the reason why then the cabbages and brassicas all uh, really on this side failed is, look, there's even one I missed, is the cabbage butterfly. Between the weather and the caterpillars, um, there is, um, they just could not make it. And in the very last bit I had cauliflower. I did get sort of a shape of a cauliflower, but the same thing. You see how the caterpillars have just devoured the plants. So um, they had no chance really. Who woke you up? Huh? Who woke you up? Um, I just want to show you here, I haven't done weeding this bed yet. As you see, there's ducks and all sorts. But these are remnants of apples. You see the very center of the apple? All it's left is literally just the shell of it. Just a tight shell, right? And this is a job. by wasps because they're also hungry. So that's what they're doing. They're just eating it from inside out. Yeah, so I don't really see the need now to protect it anymore. They're just going to keep at them. discovery um, type. Don't want to get stung. The apple's on. Yeah, okay. So one came off. How oh, beautiful are there. Just perfect. But that's what the guys are doing. Just a good feast. Yeah, so I've harvested those beautiful tree apples, uh, Discovery, and this is the hole that the wasps actually made themselves, and I was blaming the birds. But yeah, out of five, they two, but I saved three. So this is as much as I'm able for um, today. I'll be going in now and take all my harvests with me. And um, so thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.